No, uh. Yeah. No! <laughs> get him, get him, get him. He's in it. Oh, I got it. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on y'all, Captain Carr here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here with Tanner D's Dolphin Island Fishing. You know what it is? Yeah, y'all already know. We're going sheep's head fishing today. It's about, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's about 12 o'clock right now. We don't have any bait, so I'm gonna take y'all along. We're gonna try and find some bait. Hopefully, we can find some. And uh, we're not gonna be doing your typical sheep's head fishing with a rod and reel. We got the old cane poles. The Brim Buster 5000s. We're gonna give That's it a right. shot. We gotta rig them up. We'll probably put 20 or 30 pound mono on them and uh, hopefully we can run and find some sheep's head for y'all. If you're watching this video, we did. So y'all stay tuned. If you enjoy this video, please leave me a like. Let's go catch some fish. All right, so we just pulled the boat right here on the bank. We got Tanner with the, the bait bucket. Boop. Hopefully my boat don't swim away. Yeah. So let me show y'all what we're fixing to do. Very simple, actually. Any kind of lumber, two by fours, logs, trash. Rocks. Just gonna be, yeah, kicking them out of the way. Hopefully we'll find some crabs. That's what we're looking for right now. Look, these right here, these were the ones that were money. Yeah, these big ones. Get sense. ready. You find one? Yeah. Oh. Move it together. Let me get this log out of the way. Watch out. Yeah, you can see where I already moved it. Oh, watch out. Oh, there's one. A small one. Here's one. Almost look like little spiders. Yeah. Right there's some up under that pallet right there. Yeah, they like flat Come on now. There's one. All right. Two. Good, good. Sometimes you can move this grass. That, look, there's one right there. Where's that bucket? Yeah, if you're ever doing it on the water line, you can just kind of kick around the oyster shells and sometimes they'll be hiding in the shells. Yeah. Similar to the grass. You just gotta fold it all over. Sometimes you'll see little holes in the dirt, kind of like that, if you just dig up under. Sometimes yeah. they go, sometimes, yeah. They go up in the mud and the grass. All right, so we got a couple. We're gonna uh, keep searching, hopefully get about two or three dozen. We'll see y'all at the spot. All right, y'all, we have made it to the spot. We're dropping the trolling motor down right now. Y'all may have seen us fish here before. All this is is a, uh, what is it, like oyster beds yeah, or something? Yeah, this is oyster beds. Those guys right out there, they're just tending the oyster beds, probably harvesting some oysters or putting new baskets out. Yeah. It's actually probably in our favor because they're chumming the water up with all the crustaceans right. and oysters Just and all that stuff. Yeah, same thing as scraping basically. But we got the troll motor down, show you all the crabs we caught. Caught a pretty good dozen. Oh yeah, good size ones there. But as I said, we're using the Brim Buster today. Give it the old... <laughs> what, what is that? A, 13 foot 12 foot so same setup i've got a, a little split shot with a one aught octopus hook we're fixing to roll up this is gonna be fun all right and we're gonna start with a nice juicy crab oh yeah he's gonna get eaten there we go guys right there i probably got i'd say 12 foot of line on here as well we're gonna start right on this point right here. Just kind of ease up to it. I don't know if y'all can see that y'all, but I also have just a little short section of a uh, liter, 20 pound fluorocarbon. I think it's 30 pound main line. Get ready for some epic hook sets. Nuh-uh. Yeah. No! Oh! <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Oh! <laughs> Dog. Well, <laughs> I was worried about that. That's why we brought another one. Yeah. I think I think you may have 
uh, set the hook on him a little too hard, but that was a big sheep, it though. snapped up here. That was, did he break you off or just come off? He broke me. Dude, that I, was a good one. That was a big... <laughs> oh, no, he didn't break me. Oh. Y'all, he just got snapped. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not set the hook as hard. Oh. Oh. Get him. Oh. There you go. Oh. Look. He just All pulled it. All I did it. is I let it drift down that thing. But that was, that was cool. Right there. It's perfect. I don't know what that is. There's like a little mat going across on some of these poles. And we just get, oh, there's a bump. There's a lot of, we've been getting a lot of bites. There. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. On the cave. Oh, oh I spoke, hard to get a good hook. spoke too early. That was the first bite I had, y'all. That was probably about a 16 inch sheet right there. I'm gonna give it a little firmer yank on the next, the next one. This is gonna be fun if I do get one. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do to get the bite. There he is. <laughs> oh no, this ain't good, this ain't good. <laughs> He's in it. Oh, I got it, oh. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's hooked good. He's he's hooked good. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> and he just poops all over the boat. Sweet. Woo. Dead. Man, that stressed me out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Y'all, I cast it on the back side right up in the middle there between them poles somehow managed to get this sheep right here not a bad one either no that's a good one 16 man i thought he was gonna get me <laughs> <laughs> on the cane pole baby pretty sheet right there let's see what he measures 16. 16 no yep 16 right on the money we're gonna throw this fish in the box and we're gonna get us another one. I knew I was gonna get him. He ate my crab the first time. There's pros and cons to this for sure. Yeah. Plus I've got 30 pound main line and 20 pound fluorocarbon. So if he gets in something, you might be able to haul some out. This is where those uh, oyster, oyster men was right here, kind of chumming the water up. So it might help us out some. Yep. Yep. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it can't really eat with this cane pole, y'all. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, we can. We're going to do it. <sighs> eat him in the boat. Let's go, man. Yeah. Sheep number two. Right there. That's what we came to do, man. You started out good. Yeah. <laughs> This is probably sitting around 13 inches. No, actually 14, 14 inch sheet. Man, this is so awesome. It's really fun. Shoot, we'll go right back to the same spot. Seems like I'm having to let it sit a little longer than normal. You got one? Get him! Don't, don't break it! <laughs> Take it easy with him. Tanner's on. Gee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll grab your line. Number three on the deck, go. baby. Yeah. Nice, man. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Yeah, you didn't stand a chance with that big one at first. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably an 18, 20. Oh, no doubt. Well, that's three right there, about 30 minutes of fishing. We've had multiple uh, bites. One uh, cane pole, one cane pole snap. They're definitely further up in this structure, making it a little bit harder. Man, that wind is just making this killer. Making it hard. Weatherman wrong again. Hey, remember that time you were fishing right here and that sheephead broke your cane pole? Yeah. <laughs> Good times. You remember fishing right there? Fell in? Yeah. This one's got a sheep like two minutes later. There's just no way to really accurately fish this with these this wind blowing the way that it is right now. 
We try our best. I would like. So we have made a location change. As you can see, the wind is not howling right here. It's pretty calm. It's much we're better. Yeah, we're just going to be working right along these pylons here, and uh, I think we'll be able to get on a few here. We got about 30 minutes left of fishing. So whatever y'all see in 30 minutes, that's what we got. <laughs> That's pretty cool right there. Two tugboats pulling and pushing a big tugboat. <laughs> About to get the weight from that. Let's go ahead and chunk us another crab on right here. Catch this fish. There you go. You got my fish, you sucker. Get him. Yeet. Get him. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. <laughs> Y'all using cane poles? You dang right, we're using cane they poles. Call it. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. It's so fun, man. Got him. Ooh, that's that's, a, a, that's a little bit better one there. <laughs> oh, you hook good, buddy. I can grab it if you want. Oh, let's eat him. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I ain't mad about it if I lose them. Oh. Alright. Oh, he's hooked good. Nice fish. He's, good one, he swallowed it. Oh. Is that the biggest one on the cane pole so far? I don't know. I think that first one I caught was bigger. I'm gonna say 16 again. Yep. 16 on the money. Good hook set right there. All right, y'all, that's like the fourth or fifth sheet pad, I think, that I've caught on the cane pole. If y'all haven't tried this before, definitely give it a try. This is so much fun. Just something different versus the uh, rod and reel setup. And it's effective. I mean, pros and cons of, of both rod and reel and the cane pole, but we're going to recommend it. Yeah, it's, it's super, blast. super fun. It's actually the first time that I've ever done this. Yeah. Can't believe I haven't done it sooner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> this is like brim fishing right here. <laughs> it is, for sure. Oh, shoot, that's just like a bluegill normal sure. size big bluegill right there. Got to give him a little kiss for good luck. Go get bigger, cuz. All right, guys. Well, that's going to end the day up right there. We we caught some fish today. Yeah, um, we sure did. Yeah, I'm super happy uh first time like i said on the cane pole probably got what seven or eight in the box i think so lost two or three more yeah first fish tanner snaps the, the <laughs> first cane pole on that big one but you know we had a good time y'all comment below if you'd like to see any more of this kind of action i would like to come out here and try and get a big one like a 20 inch or or more but i hope y'all enjoyed the video y'all please give me a thumbs up if you did and as always we'll see you back out in the water next time